Welcome to Electro Online. In this particular JE main question dealing with electricity and magnetism, we find that if we think about it the right way, we can do this one really quickly. And let me show you why. We're dealing with an RCL circuit. Now, interestingly enough, in India, they call it an LCR circuit, but it's the same thing. It's resistance, inductance, and capacitance. An LCR circuit contains resistance of 110 ohms and a supply of 220 volts at 300 radians per second. Now, is this peak voltage or RMS voltage? Well, we typically assume it to be RMS voltage unless it's otherwise noted. So we'll assume it's 220 volts RMS at 300 radians per second angular frequency. If only capacitance is removed from the circuit, current lags behind the voltage by 45 degrees. If on the other hand, only the inductor is removed, oh, that's our dog shaking itself loose, is removed, the current leads by 45 degrees with the applied voltage. The RMS current flowing in the circuit will be, so we're looking for the current, the RMS current, with a 220 volt supply and so essentially, what we can say then is the RMS current, IRMS, is going to be equal to the RMS voltage applied divided by the impedance. Now they do give us the angular frequency. And so typically we would calculate the reactance of the inductor, the reactance of the capacitor, but we don't need to do that because they tell us that if we remove the capacitor, Right? Let's say here. Uh, yeah, if the capacitor is removed, the current lags behind the voltage by 45 degrees, and if the inductor is removed, the current leads by 45 degrees. So we can see that this is the same, just obviously the same magnitude, but in the opposite directions. So from that, we can deduce that the, capa the capacitor reactants X sub C must equal the inductive reactants X sub L. And if that's the case, then we know that the impedance is equal to simply the resistance of the circuit. Because that way, we know that the capacitor reactants and the inductor reactants will cancel each other out because they act in opposite directions. When we draw the phase diagram, you can see that in this direction, we'll get X sub L. In this direction, we'll get X sub C. In this direction, we get the resistance. But if these two are equal to each other, notice they're in opposite directions, they will cancel each other out. And therefore, the resistance equals the impedance. And therefore, we can say that in this case, we have 220 volts RMS divided by 110 ohms of resistance. And that would be 2 amps. And 2 amps would be answer B. So very quickly, by the information given, we realize that the reactance of the capacitor is the same as the inductive reactants, therefore they cancel each other out. Impedance is resistance, V over R, and we get the answer. we we'll move on to the next problem. So this one can be done quickly once you realize that that's the case. And that is how it's done. A bit restless, isn't he? <laughs>